Hi, I'm Josh from Gorilla Glue. Today I'm going to show you how to use clear Gorilla Glue. Clear Gorilla Glue is an incredibly strong, versatile, crystal clear adhesive. It can be used for general projects and repairs and is the ideal solution for bonding glass and other transparent materials. Whether you are building, creating, or repairing, it's a go-to solution for bonding wood, stone, metal, ceramic, foam, glass, and more. It is specially designed with a non-foaming formula, making it easy to use and hard to see. The water-resistant glue forms an incredibly strong bond that can hold through both hot and cold temperatures. Using it is easy, just remember these three steps. Damp it. Gorilla Glue is cured with moisture, so lightly dampen the surface with water before applying glue. Glue it. Apply a thin layer of clear Gorilla Glue on one side of the project. If necessary, you can wipe excess glue off with a dry cloth during the first 15 minutes of setup. After that, it's best to let the excess glue harden, then chip or sand away the residue. Clamp it. Clamp project for two hours depending on the material. You can also use heavy objects to achieve clamping pressure. If possible, allow full cure for 24 hours. When you are finished, clean the lid of the glue bottle with a dry cloth. Replace the cap tightly and store in a cool, dry environment with exposure to light. Thanks for watching. Check back for more Gorilla Tough tips and other project ideas. Loctite Gel Control Super Glue is perfect for vertical applications or when you can't afford a drip or run. Loctite's gel formula is second to none. Just look at the difference between the other brand's gel and Loctite's. There's no comparison. The other cool thing is this dispenser. How many times have you had a tube of super glue dry up? With Loctite's patented dispenser, the glue won't dry up. To break the seal, just turn the cap to the right until it stops clicking. Remove the cap like normal, then press these blue wings. The harder I press, the more comes out. A lot or a little. No drips or runs, and my fingers are safely away from the tip. A gel that stays in place, and a bottle that doesn't dry up. They think of everything. I'm the Glue Guide, and that's Loctite Gel Control Super Glue.
Hi, I'm Josh from Gorilla Glue. Today I'm going to show you how to use Gorilla Super Glue. The high strength and quick set time of Gorilla Super Glue make it the go to adhesive for a variety of household projects. Developed for long lasting repairs in an instant, Gorilla Super Glue is designed with an impact tough formula to handle bumps and drops with a strong, reliable bond. Gorilla Super Glue is available in four different forms our original liquid formula a thick and controlled gel formula that works great on vertical surfaces, brush and nozzle, which allows you to apply the glue either through a precision tip nozzle or a fine bristled brush, and ultra controlled gel, which combines the precision tip with the controlled gel formula. All varieties come with an anti-clog cap that keeps the glue from drying out, and they are versatile enough to bond plastic, wood, metal, ceramic, rubber, paper, and more. Using Gorilla Super Glue is simple, but a few tips can go a long way for your next quick fix. First, clean and dry the surfaces you will be bonding. If you're using Gorilla Super Glue Gel, the next step would be to shake the bottle and tap firmly on the cap. This action positions the glue in the tip of the bottle, allowing for easy dispensing. With Gorilla Super Glue Brush and Nozzle, twist off the top cap to use the nozzle or unscrew the entire top for the brush. When applying any Gorilla Super Glue, remember that you only need a small amount on one surface. We recommend one drop per square inch. Too much glue can actually cause a weakened bond. Press the two surfaces together firmly for about 10 to 45 seconds. For a full cure, allow the bond to remain undisturbed for 24 hours. Set time can vary based on the amount of glue and the type of surface glue. Once you are done with the project, cleanup is simple. Wipe off the nozzle or brush with a dry rag and replace the cap. Store in a cool, dry place where it is easily accessible for all your quick fixes. Thanks for watching. Check back for more Gorilla Tough tips and other project So construction adhesive. In a tube, you go through this stuff like I go through coffee. I use a ton of it. It's good stuff. What I like about that is, you know, today everybody's energy conscious. They want to know how to tighten up their house and they have a crawl space or a foundation. They want to insulate it. A lot of the adhesive today will actually, when you apply it to foam, it'll actually eat the foam. Well, this stuff won't eat the foam. You apply it on here, you stick it to the foundation, it's stuck in like 30 seconds. So foam to concrete outside, that tells me that we can do dissimilar materials with this, that this is also weatherproof. We can put it outside, inside, no problem. Right. What I like about this is I glue down my subfloors. I glue the subfloor to the subfloor itself yeah. and eliminates any squeaks. And this stuff really works great because, you know, when you're on a job site, it could rain or you could get snow and ice. This stuff bonds when the wood's wet. So it's interesting that you often use this when you're also nailing things. That subfloor you're talking about, you're going to nail that down. Decking, right. you'll nail that down as well, but you'll glue it too. Absolutely, because I want the two pieces of material to be together, mm -hmm. united. You make it one, it becomes stronger. All right. So if you're doing a, a, a block wall, a lot of people do this on the weekend, you glue the top row together, it's not going to fall off. Great. So lots of different materials that we can do with this.